go. That's better. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Bakus. How are you? Alrighty. Hello, Milos. Alright, guys. Today, I'm playing Crazy House against Opera Wesson. We might play some Bug House in a bit. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be grand. Hopefully, I'll win at least one game because, as we all know, Opera Wesson, as uh, also known as School Meester here, is a very strong player. So let's get started. Let's get into it. I'm just kidding. I'm not even playing a game. Let's rematch him first. <laughs> That's probably a good first step is to enter a game before you start making moves. And let's play fast because this is going to be some crazy stuff happening. Already this is like super weird and I'm probably at lo in a lost position for sure. For sure, already in a lost position. I just wish I could get my queen out. But no, that's not the case. I'm just gonna lose pieces and have to resign right away. Yeah. Unfortunate. Um, give me like 10 hundred warm up games and then I'll be ready. Alright, so I don't know if this is an opening in Crazy House, but we're darn tootin' gonna try and see if it is. Because, why not? Why not? I feel like I'm just playing into, like, chess do's and don'ts right now. For sure I am. And in fact, I'm pretty sure this isn't even a Crazy House opening. Pretty sure it's considered bad in both chess and Crazy House. But, I gotta play it to learn, I guess. <laughs> Let's go down. Oof, I didn't even see that. Jeez. Jeez. This doesn't look safe, does it? This looks terrible. What's going on with Twitch servers? I'm seeing messages about Twitch servers. When you're almost getting checkmated, but you're not checkmated yet, but you're almost getting checkmated, that awkward moment when. Ah. Oof. Ouch. Tricky. Tricky. Alright, let's play uh, E45. Or not. Just kidding. Let's try sacking and see what happens. Let's see what happens here. So pawn at h3. Can't I just take the pawn? I'm scared. Honestly, I'm scared to take the pawn. Alright, let's drop a pawn here. And I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm totally fine, guys. Psh, I'm just gonna step to e3 and I'm... Oh, there's a discover check. That's not good. Um, I'm gonna step to e2 and say I'm fine. I am made, made it, actually. I am not fine. That is so unfair. That sucks. Oh, I was totally winning there. 
I just didn't notice the discover check. Maybe I was maybe I was losing actually. Maybe I needed to No, I think I was, that was forced me. That's crazy. Ugh, how gross. Come on. Oh, he's going to try to pinky my pinky. How disrespectful. Just kidding. All right. Let's just play normal. Normal normal moves. Normal moves. Alright, uh, I feel like we got something here, but we might not. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Who knows with Appa Wesson? He pulls tricks out of, out of imaginary hats that I didn't even know were there. I'm not sure how to fix Twitch things, guys. I apologize. I can fix stream things, but maybe not Twitch things. <laughs> Alright, let's think. Let us think for a moment. I think I can drop a pawn here. Because that knight has nowhere to go. That is an awkwardly placed knight. I'm gonna take it, and then I'm gonna drop a knight here. This is a flag race, I repeat. I almost heart attacked myself. <laughs> that would have been not good. Oh wow, my heart's racing. Jeez. I don't know if I can recover from that. I think I'm like permanently like scarred. Wow. Jeez, man. Okay, anyways, uh exciting news is that I have some new Twitch templates and cover photos that I'm going to be putting up soon, which I think is awesome. It's going to be super fun to get to share that with y'all. Oh, I'm glad that he let me take the knight before he took mine on F3. I wouldn't have known what to do in response to that. I mean, I don't know what to do in response to this at all, other than just move my rook and drop a pawn and hope that there's compensation but I don't think there is. Ah, there is! I mean you can't really take with the queen or can he? Uh, he just did so I guess he can take with the queen but I'm gonna drop a pawn here <laughs> force that bishop takes now I take with check and I drop my pieces around and hope for more fun things to happen hopefully I don't know now we can drop a bishop oh but I don't have a blocker I don't have a blocker guys Okay, we have to go here. This is going to be painful. This is going to be really painful. Oh, God, I'm not going to get mated. Let me take that. Tricks! Tricks for days! Tricks for days! Ah, uh, no! Ah, uh, unfortunate. I was losing anyways, but you know. Time scrambles. My friends, time scrambles are tricky. Let's see what we can do in this. This is a new position for me. 
I don't want to give up my knight. Two knights for a queen. Not here. I would prefer to take this pawn for free, as he cannot take back whilst knight at e4 forks these beautiful pieces. And now I feel like I can just take this rook for free. Because otherwise I win the queen with pawn at f2 and then rook at e1. It's not one of the ready-made chess.com ones, because <laughs> it has been personalized to my channel, and I'm really excited to share it. Ooh, look at this! If I had two knights, I'd have checkmate with, with knight at b3, because if he takes a knight at a2, or if he takes with this pawn, then I have rook takes b1. So I can just move my rook here. And I want to believe that I'm okay here. I want to believe that I'm fine. I can just step to C8 and be safe forever. Right? I've got this bishop defending me. He doesn't have enough diagonal pieces. So I would like to believe that I'm fine here. With just dropping this piece here. And then running up to E3 potentially. Or even here. This might be safer. Okay, so let's drop here. So I believe that I'm safe still here. And then promote to queen. Finally, one like sound win just from not too much time pressure <laughs> on my end. That's good stuff. You don't understand Bughouse? Well, the more you watch, it'll come to you. It's one of those games that you have to kind of watch a couple times to get. You know? Okay, this is this is weird. This is some weirdness going on here. Just got queen it, but I have blocking pieces. So hopefully I can just take and hopefully get a decent position here with my rook open. So I might take this first, but he's got bishop at b2, but I think that... Okay, so I'll just do this, and I think I'm okay. I think so. I mean, he's definitely going to get my queen back. Hmm. i got to drop my queen on b1, otherwise there's just too much tempo. problem is I'm not seeing an immediate attack, which is the problem. So it's a positional that I, I need to think positionally, but it's tricky. So instead, we'll just kind of try to keep moving. Try to keep moving. I mean, I'm not actually threatening anything. Queen at, queen at f8 is not checkmate. But I can take this knight now. I think. I don't believe I'm checkmated here yet. Just kidding! Queen d4. Okay. Am I titled? No. One day. One day. But I've also never played in any FIDE tournaments, so like... No. <laughs> Let's rearrange my bishop's positions, because like, same. Ooh. Interesting. I'm gonna take here. And I'm actually going to drop my knight on g4. Opening up my queen. Giving me some strange things that could maybe become th something one day. So this is so weird, isn't it? Look at this, guys. What the heck's going on here? This is weirdness, if I've ever seen it. Let's bring the knight here, get the queen in. This is one of the craziest... I've never played anything like this in a crazy house game before. I mean, similar patterns, but not in this sort of move order. This is crazy. Craziness! I'm attacking the queen now. But I don't have a blocker. Except for my rook. And I think I can drop my rook and get away with it. Because he doesn't have any squares to drop his... Uh oh, but he's got that. That's annoying. Yeah, no, I'm in trouble now, unfortunately. But that was really cool. There's probably a better way I could have played that. 
because it was really cool. So I'll see if I can make use of the pieces I have on board because I'm down material unfortunately and down on time. Oh, I lost on time. Well, yeah, I was losing there for sure, but definitely I had winning chances before. I just blew it. Probably. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to read um the chat, but it's difficult in one minute games, but I'll do my best between games. Yeah, I'm untitled, but I mean, I'd probably have some lower title if I did play in FIDE tournaments. But hopefully one day I can get like a decent title. That is the goal. That is always the goal, am I right, friends? <laughs> let's 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 sack. As I stutter, let's sack. I'm like, do I wanna do this? I don't know. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting some time advantage, which is nice. But we need a knight ultimately because you can defend F f7 right oh but he's choosing not to very interesting so now i want to take with check to get tempo and such and such so we'll take that with check and now i think i want a castle to maybe capture this pawn just to get a diagonal piece on the board so i'll give a check and another and now I'm gonna take this and get the queen I'm gonna get the queen um, at least I'm gonna try to without getting mated here So, um, I'm gonna get mated. No, no, it sucks, guys. I just should have went for the flag, but I wanted to try to find something. It was tricky there. I just should, I should have just lost my queen, and I think it would, there would have been less checkmating chances. That's the problem is I do sometimes crack in good positions, and I give away too much compensation. That's something I need to learn to get better at. So when I'm winning to continue winning rather than to blow it. Isn't that a common thing we like to do? Is to not blow winning chances. Bullet Crazy House is not tiring. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. It's easy. Just kidding. Alright, so let's see what stuff's going on here. We're down material. <laughs> Cause like all like same to be honest. But uh we're gonna pretend that we're fine and not down like 30 seconds as well time wise, oh, if I take with the queen it's just bad so he's gonna just sack the queen here I guess, right? Ah, oh, that's nasty. That's impossible. Come on. I have no way out of this. Let's continue. Let's keep trying. We have some close chances in some games. Let's play more regular style. See, that's the problem with pre-moving. Uh, but we're going to pretend that... Oh. We're going to pretend that most of the moves that I just played right now did not happen. I'm going to go for the pinky. The pinky attack. get this bishop attacking and defending <laughs> sorry with my facial expressions I'm like zoning out it's kind of awkward but you know tactics maybe potentially potential tactics my dears these are some potential tactics for sure I know I'm creating weaknesses, but you know. 
Leave me alone. I'm trying my best. I am trying. Alright, let's drop a pawn. He's probably just gonna go back. Oh, he didn't. That's surprising. Okay, so now I'm gonna attack the queen. Because I don't care about the stroke. I care more about creating weaknesses around the king. And I'm winning. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Help. Alright, so let's... Let's take here and play fast. Let's try to play fast. Oh, that was a slip. I thought that was check for some reason. I'm crazy. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm crazy. I'm totally crazy and I just blew my chances in this game because of that. Sucks, guys. That sucks. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Running, 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 <laughs> running. That was so much fun. Uh, <laughs> oopsies. There we go. Trying is the first step to failure. Someone just said in the chat. <laughs> it's true. It's also the first step to winning. Which is what we're gonna try to do today. At least a couple more games, let's hope. Hoping for the best, my friends. We are hoping for the best. Counter attack? Question mark? Oh, that's so annoying. I don't want to believe that I'm in trouble, but I am. Wait, wait, wait. There might be something here. There might be something here. Okay, so now my bishop's defending f5, uh, g5, my apologies. So now I can take that knight. Tricky stuff, guys! That is some tricky stuff right there. Wow. <laughs> that was nice. I have to say that's nice. And now I'm just safe. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, my bishop on e2 is attacking and defending the big double A and D at the same time. That is the kind of moves we like to play. Attacking and defending. I don't know who that is. And also, your username is inappropriate, so Bakuz, you should get on that. <laughs> Please and thank you. <laughs> Let's not have any inappropriate usernames in our chat room. Let's starve him for pieces, potentially. Right? Something we like to do, right? Let's put a double defense and attack! Ooh, one of those double double moves. Right? Let's give a little check. Just a little check. Let's drop, an, let's drop a pawn and attack a bit here. I know that this probably actually isn't that good. Because we might be allowing too much stuff in co the compensation world. So let's drop a knight. I think I'm okay, because I do have my h2 square open. But I have a defender on g3. I have a couple defenders there, so I might be okay to live through this. Alrighty. I want to believe that I'm okay here, but I'm probably not. So I'm gonna drop a- I'm gonna drop, uh, here. 
And believe, I'm going to say that I'm okay still. I'm going to say I'm okay here. You know? So I'm going to say. I'm going to say I'm okay. I don't know about you, boo, but I'm fine. So let's drop here. I need to play fast, right? Let's pre-move some stuff. Yes! <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no! I keep putting myself in M1 in really bad times. I have three seconds. What am I doing? Oh my goodness. Sorry. I don't know. I got nervous. I got nervous under the pressure of the time. And I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. He's defended and so am I. But I'm just going to blow this entire game and go into M1 and hope he flags. Hey, Octaris, how are you? <laughs> Once again, heart is beating fast. The heart is beating fast. Indeed. So let's play this again. Because it worked out for us last time. Alright, so we're going to... Ooh, this doesn't work because of the freaking rook. We're gonna go here. We're gonna hope that we get compensation from this line. Let's get the knight on b1. I know that this king side is looking mighty open. <laughs> mighty open. I'm good, Octaris. Thank you. Our king side is mighty open, guys. That is a mighty open king side. That is a no never castling again on the king side side. But you know what? I think that's okay. Because I feel safe. I feel like my queen is helping. This knight's helping. I feel like the fact that there's more space helps in some crazy way. Alright, let's think. Let's think. Let's take a... Let's take a gander. Let's take a gander here. Let's just drop our knight. And not get down too much time. Let's defend and attack with f7. Let's get this knight up and bring it into c4. Let's bring it into c4. Get ready to take this piece. Oh, he found something that I did not see, which is unfortunate. But what can you do? Eep. Jeepers creepers, guys. Jeepers creepers. you gonna do when he comes for you oh my god I win awesome what you gonna do when my knight is coming for your king what are you gonna do is that from a song I don't even know how, where that came from that's like something from the 2000s I feel like that I just totally misquoted and it could be inappropriate and I don't even know it so like I take it back just in case because <laughs> I'm not I'm not actually familiar with all of my references it seems. All right, let's see. What are we going to do here? We're going to attack. We're going to hope for the best as per usual. <laughs> uh don't Heiser, leave me alone. Okay? I don't know what I'm quoting. Give me some slack. I apologize if it was something strange without my re realization. Okay, now I have to hold rook forever. Unless I get this knight down to g3. That could be nice. Let's bring this up. Let's bring up this rook. And let's say, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please don't hurt me. Four. The night is dark and full of terrors. What's that from? That's another quote. That I don't remember what it's from. Oof. No, 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 All right, we're playing this line again. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Let's get the pinky up. Let's get these pinkies up. Hmm. I want to put my more protection on that square. It makes me nervous. 
makes me nervous. Oh, it's is it? <laughs> it's from Game of Thrones, of course. Such a big, big Game of Thrones fan. That's really embarrassing. He has night takes this, and I to totally missed it. I'm botching this. All right. Let me get a pawn at e5 in. That'll be helpful, won't it? Protect. Ooh, smart move, but I'm not gonna do anything about it. Other than hope for the best. Hope for the best. Problem is you can take my knight with frickin' bishop at c5. How horrible for me. Oh my gosh. Horrible. Alright, we can just resign. <laughs> my bad. That was just bad playing in general, my friends. Nothing you can do about simple bad play. Bishop G five four, four is pretty good. All right. Um. Gonna recycle moves here. Oof. Sad house right now, man. That was ugly. Some ugly stuff just happened. But I'm just trying to redirect my king somewhere where that I feel safer. I just want to feel safer. Oh no, I don't know what to do here at all. I don't know what to do here at all. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. Alright, we're, we're, I'm making too many weaknesses in my queen side when I do that opening, so I have to work on that. Once again, I don't know what to do here. I'm just gonna shuffle around my pieces until I get a good idea. I can just take with the knight. No? Is that not a thing that I can do? I can take with my pawn, because I don't want to bring my queen there. My queen is doing other things. Let's keep up, let's try to keep the time sort of level. Let's just put some pressure on the queen side, because I feel like my king side's okay. I retract my previous statement. I feel totally exposed. Oh my god. Shh. You didn't see any of that. Y'all didn't see any of that. This isn't going to work at all. At all. <laughs> Please, keep me safe. There's nothing I can do. Literally nothing that I can do. That was a cool checkmate. Oh, wrong button. Rematch. Alright. What to try? Let's try C4. It's, this is generally considered bad in Crazy House because you're creating uh oh weaknesses that can be exposed for sure. But we're gonna do it anyways. Cause maybe I can find a hidden gem <laughs> or something. Hmm.
Let's attack the bishop. And let's build on this pawn chain. And try to make something out of nothing. Nothing at all. I don't know. I actually don't know what to do here. I actually just don't know. Okay, well the extra pawn is nice. It is nice, but I, don't, I feel like I don't have anything unless I get a queen or something. thinking. This is weird. This is super weird. That's a cool move. Look at that. Rook takes h2. I just need to see if I can find a checkmate that goes with that move. Uh oh. Oh wait, no. That, that's not a move. Oh my god, I'm gonna flag. <sighs> I checkmate! Rook at d8, and I don't know if he had pieces. Oh, he could block with the queen. So then if queen blocks, then I take with the queen, and then queen at g7, checkmate. So I did have checkmate. One second. So I did have checkmate there. Because he can't block with anything, otherwise, if he blocks with the uh, knight, I'd play rook at d8, and then queen g7. If he blocks with the queen, I take the queen, and then queen at g7. Alright. Fun stuff. Good fun. Alright, let's play the double pinky. Let's play the double pinky. Let's play the double pinky, my friends. The double pinky is strong. But is it strong enough? Is it strong enough? That is the question that we ask ourselves. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I just dropped a knight. For no reason. For no reason at all. Run for your life. That's what we're doing now. We're running for our lives, my friends. We're going to run for our lives and hope for the best. Help me. Help me not get checkmated here. That's what I'm talking about. What am I saying? What do I even say to that? That was awesome. That was awesome. I double pinkied it and I came out with a victory. Never try to take down the original pinky. <laughs> Uh, opening player. Oh, I'm just gonna lose because I'm like too hyped from the last game to like focus this game. <laughs> My apologies for that. Let's 
let's keep a let's keep a defense. <laughs> let's keep a defense. Um Annoying. Does he have something here? I, I don't. I feel like he doesn't. I feel like he doesn't, but I, I can't say for certain. Let's try to get him to use all of his pieces with a good old bishop at d6. So he doesn't play bishop at d6. So I feel like I can just take this bishop, but he does have bishop at a3. Now I can check. Give another check. Just hope to not get checkmated here. So that queen at oh, because he can. Uh, okay, that's not good. Yeah. Okay. My bad. My bad. I mean, I didn't expect to win anyways. <laughs> All right. No more double pinking. It's, it's, it's just too strong and scary. It intimidates even the player who plays it. thinking. Trying to use the brain power. Definitely trying. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I wasn't even looking. I thought that he took the pawn with the knight. <sighs> I didn't pay attention. I should <laughs> otherwise I would have what would I have done otherwise? I don't know. Maybe knight f7. What's the uptime on the stream? Alrighty. So maybe we can play some bug house soon. We can do like an hour of crazy house and an hour of bug. Partnered to our opponent. When foes become friends. Alright, so I feel like I have an advantage out of this opening. Like if I looked at this, I'd be like, I want the white pieces. So let's see if we can make that dream a reality. So let's continue with the plan. Get that queen uh, because it's trapped, and you can't take this pawn. He could give a bishop check first and then take the pawn, um, but he's he's decided not to do that. He's decided not to do that, so I'm gonna push d5 in hopes to just pick up more material with tempo and checks. All right, and now I'll drop a pawn here with the idea of dropping another pawn on b6. Actually, I will just retreat the queen can do that, but I'll bring my bishop in. So now I'll drop on e7, actually, just to lighten up pressure and get more tempo and maybe pick up the knight. I might just pick up the knight here and then bring my bishop to f6. Drop pieces and cry about my mistakes in life that I've just made. 
and hope I don't get checkmated. But I can drop a queen here and pick up this knight. And then this file gets opened and there's like double attacks here. There would probably still be a win from this position if there were more time, but I can't say. 